Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, welcome uh, to LSE Law on this rather miserable October morning, but it's, it's wonderful to have you here. Um, my name is Neve Maloney. I have the great honour of being the current head of the law department here. And so it's, it's my great pleasure to welcome you on behalf of our, uh, our LSE Law community for this really important <coughs> inaugural workshop of the Global Tax Symposium. Now here at LSE Law, we're in the final months of our centenary year. The establishment of the Law Department can be dated back to 1919 and the foundation of the Castle Chair in commercial law. So all year, it's, it's great timing for this workshop actually, because all year we've been reflecting on our legacy and the great LSE Law figures that resound down the years. And we've also been reflecting on our distinct contribution as, as a Law Department to the development of legal studies and our special position within the LSE. And as you know, the LSE is a leading global institution for social science scholarship with the aim of understanding the causes of things for the betterment of society. And in our current world, there can really be no better mandate, I think, for academics. Uh, and it was in 1972 that the great jurist Sir Otto Kahn Freund in a lecture on the legal framework of society, highlighted the development of new legal subjects at the LSE. Subjects that were pushing the frontiers of legal understanding. And I quote, letting students see the function of law as an element of social organization. Mm -hmm. And what you are doing here today, pushing the frontiers of how to think about tax law, is in the very, very best tradition of LSE law and the mission of LSE as a whole. Because whatever aspect of law we study, I do financial regulation, other colleagues from human rights right through to labour law and beyond, we're mindful of the taxation system. We know its geopolitical importance and we know its real significance in terms of the economy, politics and society. Now I know from your program you're grappling with the most timely and complex of questions from transfer pricing to fiscal sovereignty to VAT and m and profits right through to global power in tax as an Irish national where we're currently grappling with the commission on Apple, I'm acutely aware of that one, um, to territoriality and coherence in the EU tax law system <coughs> and on to the future of the international tax system itself. These are important, serious, and large questions. So we're really delighted to be hosting you here today as our centenary year draws to a close. And I also know you're a most distinguished group of colleagues from academia, from <coughs> policy, from the IMF, from the UN, from the OECD. And we're hugely honored to have you with us this morning. So my congratulations to Dr. Bastrocki for what is a really wonderful event, an inaugural event for this important global tax symposium and my very best wishes for a productive, <coughs> rewarding, and fun day. Best of luck. Thank you. I will be taking over from the head of the department, and once again, a warm welcome to our Global Tax Symposium. The mission of our symposium is to become the first interdisciplinary global research platform focusing on fundamental issues of international taxation. It is based on the belief that crossing African, American, Asian, Asian Pacific and European perspectives of international taxation is beneficial to all participants, particularly in the current political and economic global event, global context. So, the participating institutions um, are the following. From Africa, Annette Ogutu, University of Pretoria, South Africa. Daisy Ogembo, now based at Oxford University, originally from Kenya. Asia Xiongwei, Wuhan University, People's Republic of China. Suranhali Tandon, National Institute of Public Finance and Policy, India. Partho Shom, Chairman International Tax Research and Analysis Foundation, India. From Asia Pacific, Miranda Stewart, University of Melbourne, Australia. Yangtze, University of now South, New South Wales, Australia. From the Americas, <coughs> Mitchell Kane, New York University. Selena Valls, Universidad Torquato de Tela in Buenos Aires. 
I'm from Europe, five different countries are represented. Stephen Daly, King's College, London. Joachim English, University of Münster, Germany. Werner Hasliner, University of Luxembourg. Martin Herson, Institute of Development Studies, UK. Aiden Hepworth, Norton Rose Fulbright, LLP. Pablo Ibanez Colomo, an expert on competition law, but as we have seen over the last few years, the connection between competition law and international taxation is getting closer. S Sam Mita, former head of HMRC Central Tax Policy Group. Alice Pirlot, UC Louvain, Belgium. Ian Roxanne, LSC. Andrew Summers, LSC. Eduardo Traversa, UC Louvain, Belgium. Sir John Edward Astley Troop, first permanent secretary of the HMRC. Emmanuel Boyakis, LSE, and myself. Now, I would like to focus on, on the three international organizations present here. We are delighted to, to know that Michael Leonard from the UN, Michael King, IMF, and Benjamin Dickinson on behalf of Pascal St. Amans from the OECD are also taking part in today's uh, gathering. I would like to say a, a couple of words regarding the uh, historical context of the Global Tax Symposium. Humanity is indeed facing a challenging time hmm? for the third time over the last two centuries. Indeed, humanity has faced three globalization booms and three busts over the last two centuries. The first globalization started immediately after the defeat of Napoleon until the first war and that was the globalization under the concept of Europe system. Then came the second globalization, pretty short, just 10 years long, the League of Nations system from 1919 until, okay, the, the um, collapse of the Wall Street in 1929. So this second globalization, just 10 years, lo 10 years long, was when the international tax system was originally signed. Then came the Second War, and after the Second War started the, <coughs> the Third Globalization, mm -hmm. the UN, under the UN system, and arguably lasted until 2015 with the, I mean, electoral shocks, Trump, Brexit, Bolsonaro, the current problems in, in Chile, um, the emergence of the Fourth Industrial Revolution. So, the Global Tax Symposium is here, I mean, the third bust, a problem of uh, a, a time with geopolitical disruptions, major wars, of course I'm thinking about the, the trade war between China uh, and the US, and anti-globalization back backlashes. So we think we have the moral duty as tax academics, tax practitioners, tax administrators, and global tax policy makers to do our best, the, the, to do the best we can to think together on how to imagine the future of the international tax uh, system mm? in order to tackle some of the most important, that, most important problems that humanity is facing, mm? including increasing global inequality. So in terms of the program, we will be focusing on, on six papers, three before lunch and three after lunch. And uh, at the end of our um, gathering today, there will be a panel by our keynote speakers on the future of the international tax system. So a very warm welcome, and Suranghali, the floor is yours.